Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video we will understand how to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets automatically. So in a Google Sheet, I've added the details of my existing customers and I want to update my customers about the new product launch. So I want to send the WhatsApp message to my customers about the same and now to do this I need to set up a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action application will be WhatsApp. So here to send the WhatsApp message I'm using WhatsApp Cloud API. So if you want to learn more about this follow me through the screen. In this video we will understand how to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets automatically. So in a Google Sheet I've added the details of my existing customers and I want to update these customers about the new product launch by sending them a WhatsApp message. So now in order to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect and this here is the landing page of Pabli Connect. So in order to reach here, you just have to type in pabli.com slash connect in your browser. So here you can see that I've got two options. One is of sign in and the other one is of sign up for free. So as if you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. So now this here is the all applications page where Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets automatically. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as WhatsApp automation. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets automatically. So now in order to automate this entire process, I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So now moving to my action window as I want to send a WhatsApp message to my existing customers. So over here I'm going to send a WhatsApp message by using WhatsApp Cloud API. And the action event will be to send template message. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So moving on to my objective that is to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets to my customers about the new product launch. So I will go to my trigger window and firstly I need to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So in order to do that here you can see a webbook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webbook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet. So this here is the Google Sheet by the name of customer details. It consists of two columns and of one sheet. So as I've added the details of my existing customers in this Google Sheet, I want to send them an update about the new product launch by sending them a WhatsApp message. So now in order to build a connection between this Google Sheet and Pabli Connect first, I need to go to extensions and make sure that you should have this Pabli Connect Webbooks extension in order to build a connection. So if you don't have it, you can simply go to get add-ons. And over here, I'm going to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. So over here it is. So as you can see that I have already installed this extension. So it says installed. You also have to follow the same process because this extension is going to help you to build the connection. So now I will go to extensions. I will go to Pabli Connect Webbooks and here I will go to initial setup. So here in initial setup, it says the webbook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet. So you can see that over here, it is only one sheet that is by the name of sheet one. So it is selected here, moving to the webbook URL and the trigger column. So here I need to mention the webbook URL. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webbook URL and over here I'm going to paste it. 
So once that is done, now I need to select the trigger column. So basically the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Babli Connect. So as I've mentioned that this Google Sheet consists of two columns. So B is the final data column. So over here, I'm going to mention B as my trigger column. So once I've mentioned these details, I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the setup has been configured successfully. So now I'm going to send the test data to Pabli Connect so that I can show you the response. So over here in Pabli Connect as well, you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So I'm going to send the test data by clicking on send test. And here you can see that it says data sent successfully. So as the test data has been sent, so it would have been captured in Public Connect. And yes, over here you can see that I have received the response. Over here you can see the trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. So here you can see the customer name and the contact number. So that means over here in Public Connect, the customer detail is successfully captured. So the first objective of this automation is set up. So now as I've got the customer detail over here in Pabli Connect, so I want to send a WhatsApp message about the product launch. So in order to do that, I need to establish a connection between WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can just add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you need to mention token, phone number, ID and your WhatsApp business account ID. So I've already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So now I'm going to take you to Meta for Developers. So over here, this is the app dashboard. So I will go to WhatsApp and I will go to API Setup. So here in API Setup, this here is the access token. I'm going to copy it. And over here, I'm going to paste it. So now I will go for phone number ID. So this here is the phone number ID. I've copied it. I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to mention the WhatsApp business account ID. So here it is. I'm going to paste it. So once I've mentioned these details, I'm going to click on save. And here you can see that WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to these details, like I need to select the template which I want to send. So here under message templates, this is the template that I'm going to use that is by the name of new product launch. So I'm going to show you the template as well. So this here is the template by the name of new product launch. And here's the language that is English. This here is the template ID and the category is of marketing. So here, this is the template which I wish to send to my customers. So I've added an image over here that is of this. And in the text part after here, I've mentioned a variable. So this variable is for name. It will keep on changing accordingly as per the name of the customers. So now moving back to Public Connect. So over here from this template name field, I'm going to select my template. After selecting the template, it has automatically detected the language code and the template ID. So now moving to these fields. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the response from Google Sheets, so over here I'm going to map it. Now I'm going to map the name over here in this field. So this here is the name. So moving to the header image URL. So over here I need to add the image URL which I've mentioned in my template. So over here, this is the link I'm going to paste it. So as I've mapped these details, so this method of mapping is important so that every time I'm going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we mapped the information. So as I've mapped the details here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So before clicking on save and send test request, I've added an actual number so that I can show you the WhatsApp message as well. So as this is a positive response, that means a WhatsApp message would have been sent. So now I'm going to show you the WhatsApp message. This here is the WhatsApp message that has been sent. So here you can see the image and after here you can see the name of the customer. So that means a WhatsApp message has been successfully sent. But before moving ahead, I will take you back to this Google Sheet. So as I want to send a WhatsApp message to all those customers whose details I've added in this Google Sheet. So now in order to do that, I will go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect Webbooks and over here I'm going to click on send all data. So by clicking on send all data, I'm going to make sure that the WhatsApp message will be sent to all of these customers whose details I've added in this Google Sheet. So I'm going to click on send all data and it is done.
So this automation was a successful one. That means the WhatsApp message for the new product launch has been successfully sent to the customers whose details I've added in that Google Sheets. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pavli Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pavli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pavli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.